Zero Point is a made-for-VR 360 degree film by Condition One. It is a documentary about virtual reality, featuring a variety of different VR video clips interspersed and overlaid with interviews with researchers and developers of VR, prominently featuring Palmer Lucky. So what we've been telling people is that this is day zero for VR, and that's because virtual reality has never even really been workable in the past. No. There is wide variety in the kinds of video and in how they are made, but they are all of very high production quality. They are mostly either a full 360 or 180 degree field of view, and all feature stereoscopic 3D and directional audio. In the best clips there are very few obvious stitching errors, even when there is action happening all around you. Tripods are rarely visible, which has an extremely positive impact on your sense of presence. Zero Point opens with you seated in a rendered IMAX cinema. You are drawn into the screen and past the International Space Station, high above the Earth, until you are swallowed by some sort of spaceship and transported into the video content. At the end you return past the ISS back to your seat in the cinema. The book ending is a bit on the nose, but it is still a pretty cool experience. The content of the clips varies quite a bit, as do the camera setups, and some are undeniably more realistic than others. Still, this variety does make for a stimulating 20 minutes, and there are lots of really standout moments. The combat training videos are incredibly compelling, in spite of their imperfect projection, thanks in part to the power of directional audio. The power kites are very impressive in that the stitching errors only rarely appear even though your attention is drawn to the kites which sweep across vast sections of the captured space. My absolute favourite clip is standing amongst a herd of buffalo. When some of them come up to inspect the camera, they get a little too close for comfort and you'll be struck with a powerful blend of danger and joy that provokes embarrassing squeals. The time manipulated street corner is something special as well, and not nearly as nauseating as you might expect. The use of slow motion in moving shots seems to be an effective way to keep things comfortable where many other VR videos fall down. Several of the interviews are 3D videos on more limited 120 and 180 degree fields of view. They are projected very large and very close, which creates a convincing sense of presence as long as you are focusing on the interviewee. The interspersing of these kinds of clips with the full 360 videos forces the player to change from an exploratory mode of viewing to a more passive and receptive one, and in doing so helps to pace and modulate the viewing experience. The 3D titling encircles you and has the effect of reinforcing a sense that you are physically present in the same space as the videos, even when the videos themselves don't fully surround you. Just like this. Scott Fisher had perfected a head mount with these 120 degree field of view lenses. I got to try it and I just felt... Zero Point is a technical triumph that shows off quite convincingly just how good high quality VR video can be. It is a must-watch experience for anyone interested in long-form VR filmmaking as it demonstrates several effective techniques for handling different locations and kinds of video in a single experience. If you've already tried the Welcome to Oculus demo, then the ideas presented by Zero Point are nothing you won't already be familiar with, but enthusiasts may still get a kick out of it. For my money, the documentary really only serves to unify the various videos, the best of which only loosely relate to the audio interviews anyway. However, since they are easily some of the highest quality VR video clips available today, the film remains enthralling regardless of what's actually being talked about.